Check this one out. This is an O2 Camry LE with a four cylinder. And uh, this one came to us for 700 bucks. I couldn't even believe this. I, w I was told that it shuts off uh, at idle or at a stop. Or anytime it's not moving, basically, it just shuts off. Um, the bumper's got some, you know, paint discoloration. As does the, uh, this thing here. Looks like someone's tried to sand that. So it's not too bad. I do have the plates for it. So it's not bad. For $700, I mean, it's, it doesn't have any damage on this side. See? It's got the uh, alloy rims, which is nice. There's the plates. It's actually still got current registration, but I gotta swap the plates anyway to, uh, you know, dealer tags. So, bye bye. Anyway, look at that. All nasty. Here's a good one for you. If it's a Toyota, why is this here? And I'll show you, I'll go to the other side. This car was not well taken care of internally, uh, the lights. It's got a sunroof, right? But check this out. That baby ain't opening up ever again. Ah well, 700 bucks. But uh, it's not too bad for that. Hey, there's me. Hi. It's leather. Got some, looks like the previous owner left a bunch of filth in here. Uh, good old Trump political cartoons. So this is the new project. This one's not gonna last too long. Um, all it really needs is a wash and wax and figure out whatever makes it shut off and fix up some interior bits and it's ready to go. These Camrys, I love these things. I just sold one like a couple months ago for 3,500 bucks to a friend of mine and he loves it. I mean, he loves it. So there's a, oh, that came off. You can tell that's gone. And uh, let me show you that seatbelt I was whinging about. What the fuck, people? There's like a bolt. What the fuck? Like, if you go through this much trouble, right, to do this, you could just fix it the right way. Like, that's, that's some dumb shit. But let me get the keys out. And I believe it has around 217,000 miles on it. Even came with a fob, believe it or not. Let's see if the radio's on. Off. Uh, let's see what happens when I start it up. Well, I gotta say, it does seem to start and continue to run. So I don't know what they were talking about. Hmm. Maybe it's what happens when you put it in drive. Let's find out. Huh? Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, seven hundred dollars. See what we got. Two hundred seventeen thousand miles. That's about appropriate for one of these Camrys. I'll just let it idle because I want to see it die. I have not physically seen it die yet. So that's. I hear the cooling fan kicking on. That means. No, I guess not. I know the AC works. I know that for sure. But uh, hmm, I don't see any dying. Let's go pop the hood. Don't shut the door there. Although I do have some extra keys. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, this holds itself open. Sounds fine. Look at that. A new alternator. A new air conditioning compressor. Hey, a new starter. Someone took care of this car. The coolant. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. And it's pink. Very nice. Power steering fluid is cold. Some redneck engineering going on there. The cooling fans just came on for no particular reason. I guess it has an electric throttle body. Yeah, right there. But it uh, seems to be running just fine, so I don't know if that's going to be. They said it was stolen. 
Well, this is looking all better than I thought already. I mean, this is awesome. Let's put it in reverse. I don't know what the hell that was. Something with the power locks. These are notorious for this one going bad. Put it in drive. Ah. Huh? Yeah, we're moving. Hmm. Well, that's just a short little walk around, and now we can get to the part where we actually go to the junkyard and get some parts for it. So, let me snap my fingers and we'll be there. So I drove all the way out here to get some parts for that Camry. You can see I need this vent. My vent is completely busted off, so this is gonna work. And I need this, but I think mine has the sunroof, unfortunately, so... This is not gonna work, because mine has the button. I might be able to swap it, but we'll see. And I also need this seat belt. I don't need the actual belt, but I need the harness adapter, so. Anyway, you should have seen the line that was here, it was huge. It's already basically loose and everything, I just gotta carefully pull it out and there you go. Looks like it's been here before. <laughs> but that's good, because I need this. Let's see if I can find one that I need, but may have to settle on that one. So I got the seat out and look what I found underneath. A quarter and a free screwdriver. This is a nice screwdriver too, look at that. Cool. But uh, this is what I need right here. Looks like a 14 millimeter. Ended up finding everything I needed in about 35 minutes. I've got the armrest, same color as mine. I've got the vent that I needed, the belt buckle, and I found this whole upper piece that I can swap this piece out for the, uh, the button, the button that goes here for the damn sunroof. So, I got everything, now time to go home. Not really sure how to get the rest of this out, so I guess you just pull on it like that. And these little white. Ow. Ow! Just hit myself twice in the head. <laughs> but yeah, this just scoots in like that. Gotta have two hands for this, give me a second. Alright, that literally snapped right in. Perfect. That one is completely and utterly busted. Next, I gotta take this thing out. So I gotta, it just sort of pulls free, but it's being held in by this jock strap or whatever this is. So I gotta take that out. And then we can replace this uh, leather armrest, which isn't that bad, but to me it's just ugly, so I decided to anyway. And the final task will be this thing of annoyance, which this should be not too hard. See, now that I've said that, I've cursed myself. So, nice. But uh, it's not going to be too hard on this one. Now we got to get to actually cleaning up the interior because I don't know why, but look at the filth. Like, people just can't clean their interior every once in a while. There's always got to be grime on everything. So that's coming up next. Well, that really was all that was holding it on. What do you make of that? It's missing the, uh, <laughs> wow, it's missing the whole thing that was here. Let me unplug this real quick. You see, there's really no difference between these two units. The only difference is uh, this switch, which this is a blanking plate. You could just swap the switch over. Problem is, like I told you, this thing has been glued shut. So uh, it's kind of worthless to replace the button if it can't be used anyway. So I'm just going to install this one. I know some of you are going to freak out, but that's the way things roll. Now, the paint on this thing was really atrocious. It's really, really faded and dull. Scratches everywhere. So I picked up this orbital polisher, and I also have some of the stuff I always use on my headlights. And I gave it just a real quick a pass, right? Once with the rubbing compound and once with the polishing compound and a buffing wheel. And it came out super shiny, look at that. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than it was. You can see the orange peel. But you can see the clear difference from here to here. See that clear line? This thing is kind of a pain in the ass to use. It's from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $22, the drill master thing. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. It's kind of annoying, so I'm gonna go pick up a different one. But I think that came out for a good first pass. I think I'm gonna have to call it a day for, uh, for today because it's basically nighttime now. But the headlight came out super clean. I just wanted to see how well it would clean up as opposed to this one. So you have this one and that one. Honestly, they aren't even that dirty. So it's the next day 
and I got the seat out. It's electric. I didn't realize it was a power seat, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I already got the new buckle buckled in. I just have to figure out this wiring that this guy did. I don't know what the hell that is, so we got to figure that out. And I already got this new lid on, which was not the same as the old one. The old one just had screws. This one had clips you have to clip off, so I have to figure out how I can attach this without using these screws, which is lots of fun. And then after we get that and that finished, I suppose I should show that. I already finished that yesterday, so it works now. Lights work. So really after the seat goes back in and I finish putting this in, all I have to do is start cleaning. Man, it's dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. So I took it for a wash and a wax. This is how it looks now. Still drying, but it looks pretty good. Uh, the hood. I tried to buff it as best I could. I still need to do some more buffing, but I got a lot of the uh, residue off of it. So it's looking pretty good. I gotta go home and finish cleaning the interior. All right, I did an idle relearn procedure just to see, but I actually haven't had the car stall on me even once. See? It's going down the road. The air conditioning is ice cold in this car. Um, I mean, and it floats down the road. It doesn't pull to the left or the right. It doesn't have like bad suspension. It's once I've cleaned it up now, it's not so bad. I took that ugly cover off the steering wheel because that thing was doing nothing. But yeah, I'm gonna come to a stop right now and I'll show you what I mean. I see it's barely touching the gas pedal, but I'm about to come to this stop sign up here, so I'll show you what I mean. See. Didn't die at all. Oh, look, there goes a Trailblazer SS. But, uh, nah. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one confusing because I have not had it stall yet. But I'll meet you back at home. It's yet another morning working on the Camry. The bumper was repainted, as you can see. No longer a bunch of spiderweb cracks on it. That took a few hours. Uh, I took off the valve cover, not the gasket, but the valve cover plastic thing because it was shattered and ugly and worthless so that's gone all right now i'm about to take out the mass airflow sensor right here to clean it because you see how it's black it should not be that color that should be sort of like a red so we've got to clean that i also did a few other small things uh, i cleaned up the car completely cleaned out the interior for a bit and then i also hi me again Oh, I like that shirt. I didn't know I was wearing that. And I also repainted the spoiler right here because there was paint crackling all off of it. Next, I have to paint the rear bumper, but for now, this will do. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this map sensor. Kind of hard to see, but it looks like a little jewel. See, I cleaned it with the sensor cleaner and it makes it look all shiny now. Really hard to get a hold of to take a look at, though. Very small. I think we're going to go ahead and end the Camry project here. I put the map sensor back in and drove it down to the lot just because I needed something to drive at the moment. And when I put it out front just for a few minutes, somebody came by and offered to buy it from me. And it was about the price that I wanted anyway, so I sold it to him. And I'm kind of happy about that, you know. You don't always finish a project. Sometimes somebody just comes along and wants it for what it is. And I'm always grateful when something like that happens. Quit trying to scratch me, little one. Quit it. Yeah. So vicious. But anyway, I went ahead and sold it, so that car is down the river now. And then, on my way home, I picked up these three, actually. I know you can only see two, but there's a third one here. I'll give you a little sneak peek. One's an 01 Honda Accord. One is an 08 Ford Focus S Coupe. A bit of a sneak peek there. There's another one. And one is a 2003 Pontiac Vibe. They're all in all right condition. But they were cheap, and that's the point. So hopefully we can get to fixing those soon. Uh, I'm probably going to start off with the cord, go to the focus, and end with the vibe. So watch out for those videos coming soon. And thank you for watching.